Let me, let me just stop. Let me stop. We're not going to stress out about that. So today's video is on this look here. Um, I don't know what to call this look, but this video I based it on like new techniques that I've been seeing mainly for like the foundation routine. So I've been in like this funk, not really in the mood to like do my makeup, but recently I snapped out of it. I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials and I've been learning a lot of new things and a lot of new ways to do your face to get that flawless look. Cause honey, this skin, like, you had a smoothie for breakfast? No, honey, I have a smoothie. Because it's as smooth as a smoothie. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And follow me on my social media accounts. 2020, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to like, you know? So, I keep trying to check to see if I got lipstick on my teeth. But, okay. Love you guys. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my like second time filming this, so I hope I like the footage. Because I filmed yesterday, but I did not like it. Anywho, welcome back to my channel. We're just going to hop right into it. Okay, well first and foremost, lately I've been in like this funk. I've not been inspired. I've not been feeling like doing my makeup. But lately, like I'm into it. Like I'm getting into the mood. And so I've been watching a lot of um, makeup tutorials lately. Where I've just been, my grandma, hold on. Hello? Hi. You got everything situated? Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna call you when I'm done filming the video. Okay, see you. She be hanging up with the swiftness, like. <laughs> but anyways, so I haven't been inspired to like do my makeup or whatever, but I've been watching a lot of tutorials lately and I've been like, Noticing, I don't know if it's 2020 or maybe I'm just late, but I've been seeing a lot of different like techniques. So the way I'm gonna do my face is not like my typical like foundation, concealer, bronzer, blah blah blah. blah. Like it's not, it's gonna be all over the place. So just sit back and do it with me. And I have this headband on to keep my hair out my face. Oh, and I already did my brows. I'm sorry if like you're somebody who like to see the brow part in tutorials girl I tried that yesterday and it took up 20 minutes of the video that's probably why I didn't like the footage because I was just annoyed but like my brows need to be done and so it takes a lot of time to like but if you're somebody who wants like the brows included in the tutorials let me know and I will do that for you because I love you oh by the way for brows I used the um, Brow Ultra Slim by Maybelline in the shade Deep Brown, so that's what I used. I'm picking up the Morphe 35M palette, and that's what I'll be working out of. So I'm going to pick up my Too Faced Born This Way. Actually, no, I'm not, because I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I'm going to the gym after this, and I know people are going to be like, WTF, why does she have her makeup on in the gym? Blah, blah, blah. Want a business card? That's what I'm going to say. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to do my eyes first. I'm going to take a little tape, and I'm going to put this on the corner. The edges of my eye to give me that sharp line. This is a good tip for beginners. So I'll keep that sharp edge for your shadow. Put some concealer on my lids and I'm gonna take a little brush and blend that out. And I'm just pat this in. Now, I'm going to take 
a little translucent powder. That way when I go in with my eyeshadow, it's not like crazy. Do I look crazy? Probably. But do I care? I'm just kidding. Listen guys, it's 2020. We're going to stop even thinking about what other people think about us. Because... So I'm going to start off with this pretty like brownish caramel color, caramel caramel, how do y'all say it? I don't know. But I'm just going to pack this all over the lid in the crease. Is this close enough for y'all? I zoomed even a little bit. I'm liking this already and I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. But I like the way this is like blending out. I low-key think there was like a darker shade on this before I went in because um, I haven't cleaned my brushes, so. But it's a little patchy right here though. You build this up to however you like it, okay? Okay. Now, I'm gonna take another brush. It, it literally looks similar, but I'm using this lighter shade right here to blend underneath of what I just did. Then, then, what am I going to do? Dark brown, right here, this dark brown shade. I'm going to take another blending brush. Well, it's more of a tapered, like, pencil brush. It's like a fat pencil brush. I'm going in with that dark brown. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner. Like stopping right where the crease is. Going back in with the first brush I used and just blending that. Going in with this dark cranberry color right here. And I'm going to put this like right here. It just gives it a hint of like warmth. I mean, brown is warm, period, but like it gives it a little. Let me see. And now I'm gonna take a shader brush. I'm going to spray my little mini shader brush with some Fix Plus. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this like really pretty orangey golden shape right here and I'm gonna put that like focusing it on the outer corner not outer corner inner corner and I'm really stamping that on And 
I'm not going past my crease. And I'm like really drawing that on as if I'm cutting the crease. You guys see? Okay. I'm liking this, guys. And then I'm going to take a pencil. So then I'm going to go in with this shade right here up top. Going with the shade right here up top. It's like a pale champagne-y color. And I'm taking like a domed pencil brush. It has a little shimmer in it. And I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm going back in with the first blending brush I use with no additional product and just blending that like that. You guys see? I don't really want to do a wing, but I kind of do. Okay, so I'm going to do a baby wing. And I'm going to use the Hank and Henry Slick With It Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm just going to do a small wing. And I have my tape to guide me. I said small, but that looks long. It's a little thicker than I wanted it, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, I'm annoyed. It's way thicker than I wanted it to be, but you know, it's okay. We're gonna live life and move forward, okay? So, and it looks crazy right now, but watch this. Ooh! That wing is like super thick and not cute. I have two different wings going on right now. This wing is like a baby shrimp, okay? A prune. A prong. Let me, let me just stop. Let me stop. We're not going to stress out about that. Now I'm going to tight line my top water line. So when I put on bossies, my lashes blend more. I really don't like doing that. So now on to lashes. These are just really super natural looking. The Ardell 110 lashes. And this is just the duo glue. I can't wait to eat, y'all. And I'm going to put them like a little past my natural lash line. <sighs> Is this soft glam? I feel like this is like a soft glam. That's trendy right now. I'm Reezy posted a Instagram video, like Instagram TV video, makeup tutorial. And she said when she puts her lashes on, she puts them like a little higher past her natural lashes on the outer corners so that it elongates her eyes. But for the inner corner, she does match it up on the line. So that's what I'm trying right now. And then she puts um, mascara at, on her lashes after she puts the falsies on. That way it really blends together. And part of the reason I think I didn't like the video I filmed yesterday is because 
like I just wasn't in like the best mood like whenever I'm freshly back into filming um, after it's been a while I'm just like not in the mood but we're here today but um okay so remember we already primed our face so now we're going to go in and our face should be really like primed <laughs> but we're gonna go straight into the face so starting off, I'm going to take this Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced in the shade Warm Sand. You want to get a concealer that's closest to your complexion. I mean, you don't have to, but I am. And I'm just going to really put it on the sides of my nose. And then yesterday I wore my nose ring. When I was doing it, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm getting makeup all in it. But I take my nose ring out every night. I wash my face, and when I do my makeup. Do you guys? Yeah, like right here. And then we're going to do like a dome. Like a dome, like that. And I learned this by Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, um, Makeup by Ariel. He likes to do a dome thing. And I'll put some on my chin after I blend it out. So then you want to take your concealer that's a little lighter and draw a straight line. Okay. And I, I always are, I mean, this is pretty much the same color. But I like putting extra concealer um, like in the inner corners. That way you blend it out. Because you know if you have like dark circles and some people's eyes just tend to naturally like already like sink in right there. So this like really brightens and lifts them. Makes them look. I said lift. But it makes them plump. But yeah. So now we're going to take our beauty blender that's already damp. And we're going to... Pat this in. Actually, sorry, hold up for a sec. Where's my KKW concealer? And I have a longer chin, so I don't like to always like to like highlight my chin. Um, so I don't. That's why I don't put that much on my chin. But I'm just gonna blend out. And when you blend out your forehead, you wanna blend it in a dome also. And down where we're gonna blend out our little circle. It'll all come together, okay? That's my man. And then it's taking a lighter concealer and putting that on my nose. Like that. Then we're gonna take our same concealer in the shade Toffee and we're gonna cream contour. Sorry. Hey. I'm a little busy. Oh, you ready? Are you recording a video? Mm hmm. Alright. And then I put the concealer on a brush. You can give me kisses. Oh, so makeup by Ariel. So he says that, like, he doesn't like for his clients to go like this when putting on the concealer or the contour because he says when they're, when they're on the red carpet or photo shoots or whatever, they're not smiling like. They're smiling. So to smile when you do it. 
It's kind of hard. You not gonna give me a kiss? I heard you're getting in. You heard me struggling. I know we look a little crazy, but it's coming together. So now is when we take our foundation. And the foundation I'm using is the Dewy and Smooth by Maybelline in the shade Toffee. Now the whole key to this is that we're not gonna be using that much foundation. So I literally got some like that. And I'm going to dot, dot, and not that much in the forehead at all. Literally, like that's probably too much. I literally probably put too much on. And that's all the foundation we're using. So then we're gonna take our beauty blender and we're gonna blend this all over. And we are gonna blend over top of the cream contour, but not where we put the concealer. And the whole point of this technique is to give like that flawless like finish, which it looks good. And then we're gonna take the pointy side and we're gonna blend out our nose contour and we're not going to put any contour or bronzer on our nose either y'all just concealer just highlighting the nose wild skin is looking flawless and so now for powder now for a while now, I've been saying I just do not like the Fenty powder. I didn't like the way it clung to me. But now, I tried this out yesterday and I loved it. So I'm mixing my Fenty powder and banana with the Hourglass. Sorry. With the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. And I'm going to take a brush and just mix these all around. For a while, if you guys have been watching like my previous tutorials, you see that like I normally set my face with the brush, but look what we're doing today. And I like to turn to the side that has like the least amount of makeup on it. And we're going to bake. And literally, you're literally going to press this in. See how it looks like I put a lot on? I mean, I did. But you're going to keep pressing in until it goes away. Not goes away, but until you can't see it. And actually, I'd rather do this when my brush isn't as wet. Like it's a little more, I would like for it to be a little bit more drier. Prefer. The Fenty powder smells really good, by the way. It's like vanilla. You're gonna look so flawless. I'm like, look at that. Under eyes look blurred. And you're just gonna do this all where you put um, concealer.
Perfect. Right. Y'all, that whole like situation with Kobe Bryant is just the saddest thing. Like all the families, everybody affected, everybody who's on the plane. I'm so sad for them and their families, and I'm just sad. Now that we set the face, I'm gonna touch up my eyebrow. I like a darker brow, just cause I just like my brows, blah, 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 my brows to stand out. And I know everyone's into like the natural looking brow nowadays, but I'm all about a Crayola. I mean, not really, but. I really need my brows done. Like, <laughs> and I like to draw like little blicks, but I like to take the pencil and like color a little bit until like it's angled. And then with the sharp part, I like to just draw lines upward like that. So now we're gonna take a big old. Take a big fluffy like powder brush and take some little bit of this bronzer. This is the Caramel Cutie by Fenty Beauty. And I'm literally just tapping it in like that. Texas. I have like white specks. I forgot to smile. Blush. So, makeup by RL. Apparently, like, you know how Kylie has, like, those really, like, blushy cheeks? Apparently, blush is in. But, you know, blush always makes you feel, like, pretty and, like, you know, it's just cute. But, like, blush, if you're wearing a full face, the first to go is your blush. So when you pack it on there, it's like, when it goes away, like there's still some there. <laughs> and so of course you want to smile and like put, really put it on the apples of the cheek. And my perfect blush brush is the Morphe E4. And I can't believe I said that without like tongue twisting. You want to like low key like put it close to where your under eye is, but like not right there, if that makes sense. So this is the perfect blush. I mean the brush. See <laughs> how it's like angled? It like really. You want to bring it up a little, and then like a little on your temples, nose, just girly. Sorry, I need to spoolie out my brows. So back in the Morphe palette, we're gonna take a pencil brush. Color we used to blend out our underline, I mean our crease color from the beginning. We're gonna put this right on the lower lash. Kinda on the lip, for real. In the lid of the lower lash line. Like that. Then we're going to take another pencil brush and we're going to take the cranberry shade we used. And we're going to blend right underneath. Oh, my lanta, I put that down a little too far. I'll have to fix that up. I put it a little too low. 
for my liking. And I'm gonna take some eyeliner. I'm only gonna put it halfway. Like that. So it doesn't like close my eye in. Because I like my big eyes. So let me look at this. It's not too bad. I'm just putting a little powder to like clean up. Because sometimes I'm, I get a little carried away with the lower lash line. I'm gonna go for like a brownie, like nude, glossy lip. If I wanna be pinky, if I don't like it, I'll change it. This is NYX Natural in the shade Natural lip liner. Then, I'm gonna take the NYX Strictly Vinyl in the shade SVLG. And it's like a gloss, like a thick gloss. Make sure your lips are exfoliated. A little bit more definition. I'm going in with NYX lip liner in mahogany, and I'm gonna like line my lip a little more. I like it. So, oh, I didn't highlight. Let me highlight. So this is Too Faced Diamond Highlight in Fancy Pink Diamond. I'm gonna take a fan brush and put this on the high points in my cheek. It's coming out. Or I can't see it. Maybe that brush isn't the move. Not in the mood for highlight, bro. But okay, time to spray with Fix Plus. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. I almost forgot bottom mascara. <laughs> I don't want to get makeup on your shirt. The presence of you makes me excited. But we are done. I'm so dramatic. My flyaways just be like, fly away. No, honey. We're here to stay. I had the rhyme in my head, but like, I couldn't get it. I will see you in my next video. I hope you like this one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on my social media accounts. Everything. Look in the description box for some goodies. But alright. <laughs>